But it's just the fact it's so difficult to open up. <laughs> Try not to break my nails because I literally just got them done. and welcome to Kimmy's Shrine. So if you're new here, then twice a week I do videos. So the last one I did was actually the best of my Queen Cube Pie subscriptions. So if you've not seen that, then please go check that out. And today I'm doing a Tinkerbell video. Now, I've realized over the last few years, I have a lot of Tinkerbell bags. It's just one of those things. I just happen to have got a lot of Tinkerbell things. I've actually done a few Tinkerbell playlists, but yeah, it was one of those things I just realized. I actually have quite a lot of bags. So I thought I'd do bags and purses. So they're actually probably like rucksacks I've got. I've actually got little purses. I've got little handbags, that kind of thing. So yeah, let's just get into this. I was trying to work out what kind of order to put them in. So I've got some Primark ones, I've got Disney Store ones, and I've got some brand ones, and then some miscellaneous ones. So I was thinking, do I do all the bags first and then the purses separately? But then as I was kind of categorizing it, I realized I've actually got quite a few of the same styles. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is actually my Primark ones. Now, some of these I do actually use, and then other ones I do actually use on display. So for example, this one here, I do actually just have it on display because it's really pretty. Now the reason why I don't actually use this one is because it's a little bit difficult to use. It's obviously like a clutch purse type one but it's just the fact it's so difficult to open up. <laughs> Try not to break my nails because I literally just got them done. But like it's so difficult. Like, I can't even open it. So I just noticed that whenever I have actually used this I find it so difficult to open it. But I'm trying to open it so you can... Oh there it goes. So yeah so it's just really difficult to open. Now I do like the fact it's got these little flaps here so just in case you do have your phone in here or anything obviously you don't want falling out like your money but that's the only thing that I found it was just a little bit too difficult it wasn't like functional for me personally so but I just really like the style of it I just found it was just not like convenient to use so but like I said because I like the style of it they also had it in this version as well now like I said a lot of these things I do actually use I do actually have some things in here so for example I've got a lot of like my nail stuff in here like my jewels and things like that so like I said so some of these I do actually use I do use some of my stuff but like I said I just really like this style now unfortunately these don't exist in Primark at the moment because I think I got them maybe about three years ago um I would say stuff like this you can always get say on eBay or even like I always think in all my videos the Primark Facebook groups just in case because you never know someone might actually be selling these even though they're not in Primark at the moment you just never know what people are selling but yeah like I said I just really like the style the only thing I would say about the difference between these two is actually even though they got the same picture there but on the back this one's just black whereas that one obviously continues the picture so that's the only thing I would say like I don't really mind that like obviously that one it would be nicer if I obviously had the picture both sides knowing that this one does as well but to go with that they did actually do a little purse now I don't actually like these even though I have a few of these I, yet again, I just bought it because I really like the picture. The reason why I don't like it, it's just not big enough. Like, I can't fit anything in here. I can't even fit, like, my bank card or anything in here. That's how small it is. Like, obviously, I'm assuming this is more class as, like, a coin purse or maybe, like, a children's one, that kind of thing. It's just, for me personally, I would have actually liked to have used this one, but it's just a bit too small. Even though I do actually have quite a few of those in different designs, I just don't use them. So, the next ones are also from Primark. So, another one I've got is this one here, which, yet again, I've actually got stuff in in there so it's just one of those things that I just really like these as decoration I'm actually trying to start using my things now just because I kind of feel like they're so pretty and I'm like the amount of stuff I've got and I okay I really have to start using these especially because I've got quite a lot of other ones so I've got some like aerial ones I've got some jasmine ones I've got some bell ones so I've got quite a lot of bags like I don't need bags so that's why I kind of try and use them to actually put stuff in so that is that one there and then a similar one is this one here as well. This one I haven't actually used in a while. Um, this was actually in my attic. Um, fun fact, I was actually supposed to do a bag video for you guys the first year I actually started doing YouTube. So in my attic, I've actually got a bag of bags and this was actually in there. So, cause I've got so many bags. At the time I didn't say have like one character. I just had like loads of different bags. I was actually gonna do a video and then I just never got around to doing it. And then I moved and then like I said, it got into the attic. 
and then I was saying doing this one I was like actually I've got more bags in the attic but then another one I've got which I think this might be the only one this sort of size that I've got which is this one here um I don't actually use this one just on the basis that it's a little bit too small I kind of feel like this would be nice mind you at your friend's house you just need to put your phone in it to be honest I don't even know uh yes yeah, so my phone cover does actually fit but it's not that wide so I don't think I can fit too much in there but I kind of feel like stuff like this maybe if you just go around a friend's house or going out like for a restaurant that kind of thing I kind of feel like if you're just taking the bare minimum that would be quite good but otherwise they're not that big talking about things that aren't that big got another one of these so like, again is a coin press this one obviously I've not used uh, so this actually says it was £5 like I said I did actually get these from Primark but like I said so they were the Primark ones but yeah I would just say just have a look on eBay or just check out the links down below Right, so another one I got, which is from a uh, Disney store. Now the bag, I did actually use, I've actually taken this to Paris with me a couple of times, just because it's such a nice size to take. And it's that kind of like rubber material as well. So it's kind of good, obviously, if it's like raining outside, it's kind of good for that. Um, it does actually have adjustable straps on there as well, which is good. The only thing is, my cat Cookie, I swear he was a dog in a previous life, because he just chews on anything that's like rubber based. So this one I actually keep out of the way for him, because obviously I don't want him to chew the whole thing. They did actually do a whole range of Tinkerbell in this style. They also did, I think, Mickey and the Cheshire Cat as well, and maybe some Stitch stuff. So I do actually have a few things in this style. But another thing I've got is actually this one here, which, to be honest, just went straight in the shrine. Like, for me, again, um, it is a cute little purse. It's just not big enough. Like, I just can't fit anything in there. I know it's a coin purse, but in this day and age, I don't really carry coins. <laughs> like, for me, it's, like, my bank card and things like that. So I don't really use this as coins because I don't really have any, say, like, real money on me but I purposely bought this just for the shrine like I just thought it was so cute it was so sweet and the fact that it's like that rubber material as well so the next ones are my Cav Kitson ones now I actually got these in the sale because I don't tend to actually buy Cav Kitson stuff because to be honest I'm not really like a floral kind of person so one I actually got which is this one here which is like a rucksack so this one I've actually taken to Disney as well with me because I really like the fact it's actually got like a little pocket there to put obviously water in I do like the fact that it actually opens up as well so it's easy to get to stuff and I like the fact it's got a little bit in the front there as well and it's also got handles and I like the fact it's actually got this little bit here to go over the top as well and it's also a rucksack so you can actually use it as a rucksack or you can also carry it but like I said originally I did actually get this in the sale um, I think I got it about two years ago if I remember rightly stuff like this you can probably still get online the reason I say that is because another item that was in the sale I couldn't actually find in the shop I went to but I actually found it online so it's actually this little bag here which I don't know if it's actually a children's one, I can't remember. But if I actually had Tinkerbell on there as well, I was thinking, well, I don't really mind the children's one because, again, it's like a little purse and I like the fact that it actually had a strap on there. And the thing is, I've actually noticed this one's actually got like more of a belt buckle kind of strap, whereas the other ones are kind of like traditional sort of straps. Now, this is probably my most used one. Um, the only reason I don't use it at the moment, I think, yeah, my phone only just fits in it because I've actually got the one with the Mickey Mouse ears on it and it only just fits. So that's one reason why I don't actually use this one anymore. But it was actually my go-to one. For example, if I was just popping down the shops or if I was just going out with my mum, that kind of thing. This is like a go-to one. So the next ones are actually presents. So I don't actually know where they got them from. Whether they actually got them from a particular website or a particular shop because they were actually presents. So one of my favourite ones, so when I'm not actually using it, I actually have a hanging out for decoration. It's actually this one here. I absolutely love this one. So my mum actually got this for me, I think, two Christmases ago. It's over two or three Christmases ago. Now, I really like it because it's quite long, so yet again, I can actually fit my phone in there. This kind of thing I would use if I was going out for like a nice restaurant or if I was going out with family, that kind of thing. I kind of feel like this is more of an occasion type one, whereas some of the other ones are more just like casual, whereas this one, I kind of feel like it's too nice. That I kind of feel like it's more of like a dressy type one. But yeah, I just love the colours on here. I just love the fact it's all glitter. Um, the only thing is, it does have a chain on it, which is not adjustable. That's the only thing I would say, but I don't actually know where my mum got this from, but yeah. Yeah, like I said, it was a Christmas present a couple of years ago. And then to go with that, uh, a few years later, she actually got me this one. Now, for me personally, it's too nice. So it actually came in this nice packaging, but it's just too nice that I was like, okay, I just want to keep it in the packaging. So where all my jewelry is, I've actually got this. I propped up on there because it is a bit too nice to use. Yet again, I don't know if my mum actually got this from the actual designer or whether she got it from like a particular shop. So like I said, because these are presents, I'm not 100% sure. But I kind of feel 
bad that I've not used this because I kind of feel like this is one of more the expensive ones because like I said, because it is kind of a designer brand but at the same time I was like, oh, I'd feel so bad if I, I lost it or damaged it knowing how expensive it was that I kind of feel like, I, I, for me it's nice, it's in here, it's clean, it's safe maybe one day I'll use it but at the same time I was like, it just seems too nice I just don't want to get out of the packaging so one that my husband got me which was more or less my go-to whenever we had date night I would always use this one which is this one here now this is what I kind of class as more like subtle Disney so it's obviously got Tinkerbell on there but the fact that it's not in your face Tinkerbell because obviously it's her more silhouetted it's kind of a bit more subtle so for me personally this is like I said what I use for date night so whenever we go out obviously to a restaurant or oh I've actually still <laughs> I've actually still got a mint in here from the last time I used it obviously we've not been out for a while but yeah this is always the one that I would take with me because it was just nice and small it was just subtle for me it was still Disney without being too like over the top Disney so and because it had quite a lot of colours on there as well obviously the colourings on there is mainly blue but it's obviously got a few different ones so it didn't really matter what outfit I was wearing it kind of went with everything yet again I don't know where he got it from whether he actually got it from the designer an actual website I'm not actually 100% sure but I would say stuff like this if you just do like a quick google search I'm sure you better come up with it so the next ones are my miscellaneous ones to the point where apart from them being Disney I don't actually know where you can get them from so one of them I actually did an eBay haul uh, like two maybe three months ago and it's actually this one here which they do I think class is like a weekend bag now this one unfortunately doesn't have anything in there to say where it's from so like I said it's just Disney it doesn't actually say a designer on there so this one I really like because it also has the handles on there or you can obviously use the strap as well but yeah like I said this is more class as a weekend bag I would say eBay is probably one of the best places to get most of the stuff from. So another one my mum actually got me from a charity shop. So yet again, I don't actually know where it came from, which is this one here. I'm pretty sure, again, this is probably like a children's bag because obviously of the size of it. Um, I have a feeling it could have just come from the Disney store or something. But like I said, there's literally nothing on it. It just has the label Disney on it, but it doesn't actually say where it's come from. And it's just like a nice bag, obviously, just to put stuff in. Um, it's kind of that denim kind of look as well, so it's a little bit more like on the practical side I would say so just more casual but yeah like I said my mum actually got this for me from a charity shop oh I want to say probably like 10 years ago or something I'm trying to think how long I've had this for I've actually had this for a long time but yeah I would say this is quite good if you're obviously just going out for the day but yeah the strap on it is obviously adjustable as well but I don't know in my mind I kind of felt like this is more I don't know, like a children's one rather than adults because I feel like most Disney stuff are more designed for children. Like I know over the years they have started to do more adult things but things like this, I kind of feel like because I've had it for so long, I kind of feel like it was an era where most things like this were more designed for children. Now the last one, I did actually used to use this for my makeup. This is how little makeup I did actually used to wear. And it's this one here and you open it up and it's got like two little pockets in there. And I used to keep my makeup in here. So like I said, this is showing how little makeup I used to use. I think I used to just put like, I don't know, powder, maybe a bit of mascara on because it's back in the day before I used to wear lashes because I've been wearing lashes for probably about 12 years now on and off but yeah it's probably back in the day where I just used to get, wear the, the bare minimum so that's why stuff like this was obviously good I think I got this in the Disney store I've had this for so long I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. Like, when I look at this, I think Disney Store, so I think that's where I got it from. But, yeah, I just think this is such a cool idea, the fact that there's actually little pouches in there. I don't think it was a makeup bag. It might have been, like, to put all your pencils in, like a school, like a pencil case, that kind of thing. Yeah, for some reason, I'm thinking Disney Store to get this from. But, like I said, I've had it for so long. So, yeah, so that was my Tinkerbell bag haul. Um, obviously, like I said, I included some purses in there as well. There's a few different things. So, just in case you are in the hunt for, like, a different type of bag or just, like, a purse or something, or just even just to put stuff in around the house just like organize like your makeup and things like that so like I said I do actually have quite a lot of different character ones it's just the fact that I noticed I had a lot of Tinkerbell ones I thought just in case you're a Tinkerbell fan and I've not actually done a Tinkerbell video for a while so that's why I thought oh now would be a good time to do it because I've not actually done one for a while so yes if you like this kind of videos then please give me a big thumbs up please like subscribe and click the bell notifications obviously get notified when all my other videos go up and yeah that's it so I'll see you guys next time later days